Mike, my main man, how was dinner? It was alright. Alright? Must have been pretty good. It's Commons food. That stuff's great. What'd you get? Some pasta. Nice. So, uh, what are you doing later tonight? Excuse me? Like, uh, work, hanging out with friends, watching a movie? Uh, well, I have some Chinese I need to finish, and then a UPAC lights meeting, so I'm pretty busy. Oh, really? Well, uh, what do you say you blow off all that homework and come do something fun with me tonight? Give you a better feel for RPI? No, Derek, really, I can't. I have to finish this work. Oh, and could you stop hiding my books? I spent two hours last night looking for my physics book, only to find out that you started a washing machine and threw it in. Come on, it was just a little joke. Is that too much for you? No, it handle? wasn't a joke. It cost $100. That's what she said. Look, no, I can't take this. I have to get this work done. I'm leaving. I guess some people can't appreciate a good sense of humor. Good. Good phone call, man. What's up? Well, Jared's been really annoying today, so I think we're gonna steal his desk chair while I step around. Nice. Oh yeah, what do you want me to do? Well, he's at his desk right now, so I'm gonna go and distract him, try to get him to stand up, and then I need you to take the chair and get out of there as soon as you can. What are you guys doing? You're pulling another prank on Jared? You heard what Garrett said about pulling pranks that involve stealing things. Yeah, we heard what he said, but we're not finding anything. and JP think they're so funny with all their pranks. They're just childish. I can't see either of them get into a good grad school with that attitude, which makes me happy. They'll regret it four years from now when Jared gets an MIT for his master's and lands a successful job. Man, Ryan, that kid is weird. I don't know what happened. He was just, I think somewhere early on in his life, his parents just raised him completely wrong. I mean, he actually reminds me of this chick from my high school where We'd be sitting in the back of class, me and my friends just, just talking, and, and she'd start hissing at us and freaking out during class. It got to the point where anytime any of us didn't hand in our homework, she would go up and tell the teacher we ought to be in detention and, and disciplined for ruining the academic structure of something. It's weird, kid. Ricky's a cool kid. Yeah, I don't really see him that much because he's the left athletic type, and... I was hanging out with a couple lady friends. It's always down for a poker game though, so it's good if we need an extra guy. I don't think I've really seen his roommate too much, like ever since the first day. I heard he uh, lives over at Crockett with some of his friends. <coughs> hey Jared, I was just wondering, what do you think's the biggest threat to security at this hall? Bears. Definitely bears. Really bears? Cause I was talking to Zach and he seems to think it's meteors and I tend to agree with him. Meteors? That's ridiculous. Everyone was an adult male, male brown bear can claw man to death in seconds. That's just what he thinks and I agree with him. But anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this bear mace. I don't think we need any more. What? Billy, I can't let you do that. That bear mace is our last line of defense against bears on campus. Dude, is this safety broken? <sighs> Billy, give me that. There's nothing wrong with having this in the room. I was thinking we could get steel umbrellas, and those are protected from the meteors. Umbrellas? That wouldn't do anything against a meteor. That's ridiculous. I saw it on the internet, and it really worked well for this one guy. Oh yeah? Did he have pictures? Did he cite his sources? I don't think so. Then he cannot be trusted. I guess you're right. Billy? Where's my chair? What? My chair. It was right there. Jared, I was talking to you the whole time. How would I steal in your chair? Billy, if you don't tell me where our chair is, I'm going to have to report this theft to Garrett. Dude, I don't know where your chair is. That's it, Billy. Garrett! All right, brother. What's going on out here? I don't know. I was just talking to Jared. His chair vanished out of thin air. That's weird. I guess it must have pissed him off, though. I guess so. Alright, that's what I want to do. See ya! <laughs> Billy!
You know who I think's gay?